Gentlemen, it is nice to meet you both, and I'm even more excited to talk about the fact that we get more from Riley. She goes on her first date. What is the what was the inspiration behind this story, putting this short together? Uh, well, it came from uh, it kind of grew out of the, working on the film. You know, we um, a lot of us are parents at, at Pixar, and and specifically in our writing room, a lot of us are fathers of daughters. And so um, one day, uh, one of them, one of the artists said. He has older daughters, and he said, uh, um, "Just wait until the first boy shows up." <laughs> and I, my daughter well, was five at the time. I'm thinking, "The first boy? No, that's not. Oh, that's going to happen someday." <laughs> and so um, they, it was literally born out of that. Like, what would happen in Riley's father's head, and and just the dynamic between what's going on here between everybody. I love the personal uh, feeling towards both these films of obviously Riley's first date and Inside Out even, you know, Pete talking about his daughter himself inspiring, you know, mm. the characters to begin with. Mm -hmm. What is it about these characters that appeals to such a general audience? Because it's not just kids that, I mean, they love the movie, it's Disney Pixar, but adults were coming up to me saying, I cried when I saw Inside Out. What is it about these characters that has such a mass appeal, you think? I we think, all have emotions. Yeah, it's just the truth to kind of human character and observation. We can you can relate to having to, to feel strongly about things, and uh, that's what we, yeah having this relate to Pete's observations of his daughter just made it kind of rooted in this truth that that really we clung to the whole time we were trying to make the film. And that's what we're always looking for is just the truth in in, the, in any story at all. Just what's the what's the absolute truth about it? And so with this one, I think you know we have. We, tr we really treated the emotions like the parents of Riley, and then obviously her parents are her parents as well. But then there's also, it's about growing up as well, and that's kind of what Bing Bong represents. And so I think a lot of people can look at this movie from all walks of life. What is it like to work at Pixar? I'm so jealous. I'm sitting across from both of you, and I'm like, I hate you both. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't, but I'm like, I'm really, I'm, what is it like? Well, it's part. it's pretty great. I mean, we we work really hard on these films, but we kind of play really hard at the same time. So I feel like we've we've got a decent uh, work life balance going on at Pixar. Um, it's it's incredible. It's I I don't know where I would be working if I didn't work there. And I don't want to think about it. Do you pinch yourself sometimes and say, we're really doing this? Absolutely. I mean, because, yeah. uh, you know, growing up, you guys obviously were into animation. What, what are your, some of your favorite Disney classics? I'm curious to know. Uh, Snow White. Peter Pan. The, okay. the, I think that for me, Peter Pan is because the boy doesn't want to grow up, and I still haven't grown up. I get to make cartoons every day. And I get to talk to you both, so I, I haven't grown up. Walk me through the <laughs> short process. What is it like to put together a short? Yeah, so on, on this particular film, because it was based on Inside Out, uh, about a year before the film was finished, the feature film was finished, we started talking about ideas for shorts. And uh, Josh was asked by the director and producer of the film to kind of come up with some ideas and think about what we might kind of have as an idea for a short. Yeah, and I had a couple of thoughts working on the film. You know, you, we have ideas that kind of begin and end and as you're working on the film, and I had some ideas in the, in the back of my mind. So when they came to me, I was kind of excited to, to pitch them. And um, I pitched this one as was one of the couple, and they, were, they really liked it a lot. So. And I can't believe you guys want to talk about Toy Story 4. I'm kidding. Uh, I picked Feast <laughs> as my uh, pick you know, last year to win. It won. This is the one I'm picking this year to go all the way to Riley's first date. I really, really enjoyed it. So uh, thank, thank you, you so much. Nice I really appreciate it. Nice to talk to you.